Welcome back. It's time now to take a look at the top business stories. Middle East telecom operators must increase operational efficiency, reveals new study. Women's Forum highlights the need for policy changes to increase female participation in the public life. And we find out what measures UAE expats are taking to provide for their futures. Asian markets closed lower this Tuesday following concerns over the European debt crisis. The GCC markets also had a negative run today, while there were mixed results at the UAE bourses. The DFM dropped one and a quarter percent to close at 1,691 points. The real estate sector was down today as MR properties fell 2 percent, while shares at Arab Tech were down also nearly 3 percent. DP World dropped 2 percent. Emirates NBD lost over 1.5 percent, and Do was down three quarters of a percent. 95 million shares were traded, valued at 153 million dirhams. The ADX gained marginally to close at 2,755 points. Abu Dhabi Commercial Bank climbed over one and a quarter percent, and Etisalat gained half a percent. The real estate sector was down, though. Aldar Properties fell over 2.5 percent while Suru real estate dropped one and a quarter percent. National Bank of Amal Khain dropped over nine and a quarter percent. 46 million shares were traded, valued at 111 million dirhams. Middle East telecoms operators have the potential to access up to $8 billion worth of savings should they improve their business practices. The findings are the result of a recent study by Alex Partners, who conducted an analysis of the top telecoms operators across the emerging Europe, Middle East and Africa regions. The report also revealed $3 billion worth of trapped cash could also be used to fund growth in the sector. Demand for diversified services is forecast to increase from 5,000 terabytes in 2010 to 125,000 terabytes by the end of 2014 and will provide huge revenue growth opportunities. Experts say operators must increase operational efficiency and infrastructure to tap into these opportunities. The first area, which is working capital improvements, one key measure there is day sales outstanding. That's really the, a certain amount of cash that is really trapped with your customers that could be, if more efficiently collected, could be better utilized in-house. The second area is in procurement improvement. There's been a lot of good progress in this region in terms of global sourcing, uh, consolidated buying activities and best price evaluation. However, we do see an opportunity, a further opportunity in terms of really restructuring the relationship with your suppliers. And finally, the third area which supports the top two areas is about better integration of your operations globally. If you are able to have a good operational structure between the group and the operating companies, then you're better able to get the operational improvements which we've talked about earlier. Middle Eastern women are increasingly tapping into professions that were previously male-dominated. But what are the challenges involved in taking up leadership positions? Well, the second annual Le Women in Leadership Forum in Abu Dhabi brought together prominent public figures to discuss this. Sandra Magulliao reports. By overcoming several challenges of modernization, the Middle East of today now has women in the forefront of almost every industry, where no woman had gone before. But maintaining a balance between personal and professional life and having a strong support system seem to be key challenges. I think it's the major issue is balance between the work life and the uh, family life. This is an issue that is uh, faced by every woman working. I think we need the support. We're not superwoman. Uh, everybody needs the support of a family, of uh, members of the family, members of the society, support groups. We need to have more um, support for like businesswomen, uh, incubators, uh, financing schemes for SMEs, which will be for men and women. The two-day event beginning today focuses on the growing trend of women in leadership roles. Government organizations are also making policy and regulation changes to help increase participation of women in less explored areas. 
I think the women uh, councils in the UAE are constantly developing the uh, policies and procedures of how to support uh, working mothers or single uh, married women. However, a lot is yet to be d done and I think it will unravel organically. A major policy in the pipeline is the um, the Dubai Women Establishment. I know they're working keenly on, on, on regulating the issue of the nurseries within the working force and hopefully it will hit the neighborhood. With increased corporate and government support, the region can only look forward to revolutionary outcomes. Sandra Merkulia, City 7 Business. For details of this fortnight's deals with Low Cost Dubai, we're joined by the company's co-founder and director, Ainsley Duncan. Welcome to the show today. Hey, thank you. Now, the Akuru Spa has got an, a, a very attractive deal. Tell us the details on that. This is a great one. The Akuru, they're offering up to 50% off on uh, their spa treatments and massages. So a fantastic deal, great value again. We're always continually looking for uh, the good offers, and this is definitely one of, the, one of the top ones this week. Definitely. I mean, it's a very well-known spa as well. So to get 50% off, that's quite a treat, isn't it's it? It's very popular. I'm sure, you know, with that additional added value of 50% off, people are going to really flock down there. Definitely. And also, um, the budget hotel City Max also has a very attractive deal on their, their in, indoor dining as well. They have. We've had a lot of emails coming in from people requesting um, family brunches and good value brunches where they take the children and that kind of thing. And uh, City Max is offering a brunch on Saturdays for only 75 dirhams. My goodness, that's, Which, that really is amazing, uh, yeah, isn't Yeah, that, that's good, man. And, you know, the younger kids go free as well. So, yeah, people can check that one out as well for this week. Excellent. Well, thanks so much for coming in. See you in a couple of weeks. Thank you. GCC markets ended lower today. Let's check in on those numbers now, starting off with the UAE general indexes. Coming up now, let's take a look at the major international currencies against the dirham, followed by the price of oil and the precious metals. After the break, we talked to Spencer Lodge, the regional director of the De Vere Group, about the saving habits amongst UAE expats. <laughs> 